Around the world, 1 billion 600 million liters of milk are consumed daily, courtesy of 260 million dairy cows to meet demand. A factory uses an astonishing machine capable of turning liquid milk into powder. But how are millions of kilos of powdered milk processed and canned? Discover the fascinating world behind powdered milk production in factories. Powdered milk is dehydrated milk. To produce it, much of its water content has been removed to turn it into powder. This process allows milk to have a longer shelf life and be easier to transport and store without refrigeration. The technique of dehydrating milk to turn it into powder was first developed in 1802 by the French scientist and chemist Francois Nicolas Appert. At that time, powdered milk was mainly used to feed soldiers during wars, as it was a convenient and long-lasting source of nutrition. At the beginning of the 20th century, it became a staple food in many rural areas where fresh milk was not regularly available. The United States produces more than 79 billion liters of milk per year, averaging 87 liters annually per American. Almost all of this milk comes from the 60,000 dairy farms in the United States, courtesy of the more than 9 million cows raised specifically for this purpose. This futuristic farm milks and feeds without the need for a human. A farmer can milk an average of 6 cows per hour by hand with a milking machine. In the same time, 100 cows can be milked. This mechanical ingenuity has improved. The milk production process is one of the many farms that use technology to improve cows' lives and increase production. Up to 80 cows can ride at a time on two bovine carousels called milking parlors. In one day, a dairy cow eats up to 45 kilos of a mixture of hay, grass, and grain enriched with minerals and proteins such as soy. The dairy cow spends up to 8 hours a day eating 45 kilos of food and drinking 300 liters of water to produce up to 38 liters of milk daily, 7 days a week. The milk it produces is a nutrient-rich liquid composed of 87% water. Cows only produce milk during the lactation period that follows birth, starting at 15 to 17 months old. They are inseminated every year for about 6 years. The newborn calf nurses for a couple of days and is then moved to another area to be raised. But the mother continues producing about 35 liters of milk daily for 10 to 12 months. This milk is intended for human consumption. The floor is automatically cleaned every 24 hours so they do not walk on their excrement and get sick. Animal welfare is the essence of the dairy industry. A happy, stress-free cow produces better milk. Therefore, they are not confined in stalls but roam freely, inside or outside, eating and drinking as much as they want. They scratch themselves with this roller, which improves blood circulation and cleans them. Each cow wears an identification tag that emits a distinct low-frequency signal. This way, the system collects data on each cow's milking habits and monitors milk quality. Traditional twice-a-day milking has become a decision that depends on the cows. Just as bladder pressure tells us when to go to the bathroom, when udder pressure becomes uncomfortable, they simply walk to the barn. The barn is designed so that they are not uncomfortable or unable to move. They are positioned in such a way that they are not separated from the herd. Scientific studies show that separation causes them stress. The part of the milking machine that fits over the cow's teeth is called a cup. It works just like our hand. Each of these cups emits a pulsation that creates a suction and massage effect. What it does is apply pressure on the cow's udder, and that pressure causes the cow to release milk into this milking machine. Later, when the milk reaches this container, the machine uses a vacuum pump to move the milk through the hose until it reaches the storage tank. A sophisticated machine analyzes the milk. If the quality is not good or it detects signs that the cow is sick, such as milk being too hot or containing blood, the system automatically discards it. The milking process takes about 7 minutes. A flow sensor detects when the cow is empty. When the flow sensor perceives that milk stops coming out, the cups detach automatically, and the cow can leave. Rotating milking parlors are ideal for large farms to milk many cows efficiently in a short time. When the teat cups are removed, the machine disinfects the udders. 
Milk that passes inspection is stored in a vat and transferred to a refrigeration reserve to keep it fresh. It is stored at a temperature of 3 degrees Celsius, like the refrigerators in our homes. More than 8 liters of freshly milked milk are needed to produce 1 kilo of powdered milk. Freshly milked milk is temporarily stored in stainless steel tanks or containers for further processing. It is important to keep the milk refrigerated to preserve its quality and reduce bacterial growth. At this stage, the milk is raw. Raw milk has a short shelf life and may contain harmful bacteria. The collected milk is transported from farms to the processing plant. This can be done using refrigerated trucks to keep the milk at appropriate temperatures during transport. Tanker trucks bring in 567,000 liters of milk daily from nearby farms. In the laboratory, all milk is tested before being accepted. The fat and salt content must meet the plant standards. After quality control, the new batch is pumped to the city of silos. Twelve gigantic storage silos rise toward the sky like futuristic buildings. Together, they can hold 2.8 million liters of milk, enough for 20 million bowls of cereal. But whole milk contains too much fat for most people. The first task is to separate it. Raw milk contains solids such as fat, proteins, and minerals suspended in the liquid. To separate these solids, the milk undergoes a centrifugation or separation process. The centrifugal action of this machine accelerates this process, separating more than 22,000 liters of milk per hour. At the top of the separator, cone-shaped discs spin at a speed of 7,000 revolutions per minute. This forces the heavier skim milk to move outward, while the cream flows toward the center. Skim milk is the base from which powdered milk is made. However, the milk could still contain harmful bacteria. The solution is pasteurization. After the separation of solids, the milk undergoes a pasteurization process. Pasteurization involves heating the milk to a specific temperature, usually around 72 degrees Celsius, for a set time to eliminate bacteria and other harmful microorganisms. Then, the milk is quickly cooled to stop the heating process. The pasteurization process lasts less than 40 seconds and kills 99% of the bacteria in the milk. Once pasteurized, the milk goes through a concentration process to reduce its water content and increase the concentration of milk solids. The milk is introduced into an evaporator, a device designed to remove some of the water present in the milk. The milk is heated and kept in the evaporator for a set period. The evaporator consists of a series of towers called calandrias. The milk enters at the top of each calandria and flows down through several small stainless steel tubes. The steam surrounding each tube causes the milk to boil as it descends. At the bottom, the steam and concentrated milk flow into a separator, where the steam exits from the top, and the milk is pumped into the next calandria. The process is repeated several times until all the water is removed from the condensed formula. Finally, the milk reaches storage tanks. During the evaporation process, the heat used to turn water into steam is recovered and reused. This helps reduce the factory's energy consumption. After evaporation, a thicker milk concentrate with a higher concentration of milk solids is obtained. This concentrate can have different densities depending on the type of powdered milk being produced. Next, the powdered milk is cooled to prevent moisture formation and clumping. This can be achieved using cooling equipment such as heat exchangers or air coolers. It is then packaged in suitable containers, such as hermetically sealed cans, which protect the powder from moisture and contamination. These steps are essential to preserving the quality and shelf life of the final product in the canning line. The cans are filled with powdered milk, tightly sealed, and are then ready for distribution. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to keep learning.